Hey, sneaking it's back today. Today we've got Imagine OS, formerly Goblin X, Slackware based. Now he's gone for the KDE look this time, but basic KDE is a bit not very interesting. But this is the KDE for netbooks. Bit more interesting, bit more funky, a bit more super duper. So I see. It looks really nice to me anyway. So I'm going to run through it. Got KML for your Mao, system settings, Dolphin. Comes with Opera, although well, Opera's not free, you have to agree to it. Amrock is your music player. Digicam for importing all your stuff from your cameras. And console for determinal. On the basic setup on the screen, you've got bookmarks for bookmarking, contacts for contacting, multimedia, all your stuff's in there, so that's lovely jubbly. Internet section, we'll come back to that later. A graphic section, not a lot in there. Office section, bloody nothing in there either. Education, system, and right on the end, we have utilities. So that's pretty okay, isn't it? Now what we'll do, we'll open it up and we'll see what's in there. Quite a lot in utilities, so you've got a sweeper for cleaning up. K nodes is all down there, it's lovely. Clear battery coming at you, all that in there. We're also going to have a calculator, alarm arc, anaconda tray, it's all there, so we'll go back and look at something else. So, should we go into the system? I think we may as well, mightn't we? So, if we go into the system, oh, look at that, that's all nice, isn't it? We've got a system monitor, so should we open the system monitor? Yeah, go on, let's have a look. So, it bounces up and down a bit, and we get a bit of a system monitor, and something else has come up there. I think that was supposed to come up earlier, so I'll get rid of that. Because we're running from the live CD here. I was going to install it, but the bootloader won't install and I couldn't be asked to fuff, fuff about of it, really. Fuff here, fuff there, you know what I mean. Anyway, here it is. System monitor. It's not too bad for KD at the end of the day, is it, really, when you think about it? No, it's alright. Yeah, it's not using much, really. It's good on RAM, I must say that. It's giving me one give a swap down there. Not using nothing of that whatsoever, is it? So, yeah, that's why, isn't it? Right, education. All you get is marble. So that's not very good, is it, when you think about it? Okay. Office. Now, I was expecting some office stuff in there. Well, I'll get some. I'll get an address book, and an organiser, and a time tracker, and some contacts, and a PDF reader, and something to do me money with. But I can't actually do any typing or anything like that, can I? So I can't really write a letter. So that was a bit of a bummer. Right, in graphics. You get some stuff in there, but not the stuff you really need. So I wasn't really up here about that, really. Need a bit more in there on the disc, really. I mean, you get colour paint, but it's just a paint programme. You, know, you might want an image editor or something like that. be really, really good, wouldn't it, when you think about it. So it doesn't really come with too much in that respect. Although, if you can get it installed and get the bootloader to install, you can download them and install them, which would be nice, because the Slackware package is quite, quite vast. Anyway... Under internet, on the other hand, we have lots of stuff. Look, we've got aggregator, we've got bloggle for doing your blogging, it's a blogging client, a dbpedia, which is a wikipedia thingy, kget is your download manager, kmail, what I've said before, for your mail, some other stuff there, some nodes, some networking stuff, wpagui, it's all right, wicked, wicked, wicked for network managing, quit for twittering, opera we've said before, and we've got some desktop share in there, copet for instant messaging, conqueror for your web browser, oh, Concrete was my first web browser in Linux. Of course, going back in the day, isn't it? Back, back, back in the day. So anyway, we're going to take up here. Let's have a look. Conqueror, lovely. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. It's okay, you know? But yeah, Conqueror has been around for a while. It got a bit of an update not too long ago, as far as I'm aware. And so it's all up to date with all the others, because it was a bit lagging, really. Anyway, so we've gone to the main page of Imagine OS, and it looks okay, doesn't it? It looks okay, there's nothing special. He wants you to subscribe and donate some money. Got to be done. If you want him to keep doing it, it's got to be done. And for this particular version he's done here for the netbook, I rather like. So, yeah, that's all right. So, we'll click here on his blog and he's telling you about the latest release. This is the one we're using today. So it's only been out a couple of days. New kernel, etc., etc., etc. But if you want to read all about it, go to the site yourself and have a little old looky. So, yeah, that's all right. Isn't it? Right, what's next then? Right, next on thing, multimedia. Let's have a look. Right, in here we get Amrock, a dragon player for video player. Never got that to work. Juck, I've even, never even got to open. K3B on the other hand, wicked, live it. Well, let's try Juck, see if I can get it to open. Is it going to open? Is it, it's thinking about it. No, it's thinking. My God, I don't believe it. It's actually open. That's the first time I've actually clicked on Juck and... In any distribution I've tried, and it's actually open. Normally it just doesn't even bother saying hello, you know, it says I'm not coming out. So we equip that from the main top part, and it's going to think about it now, isn't it? See, see what I mean? It's going to think about it. it. don't like me, I'm telling you, it just don't like me. 
So no, back to the multimedia section. K Audio Creator for CD Ripping. K Mix is there. So the Telly stuff there and XMS is there as well. So that's nice. Why? Well, where else was I? Contacts. Well, I haven't got any. Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. Let's go and eat some worms. Got nothing in me contacts. So what I do? We'll come out of that and go somewhere else, I think. Where should we go? Let me have a think. Um, mm, 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 mm. I've got some other stuff to show you, anyway. Anyway, we've done that. We'll see. I forgot what I was going to do now. I've gone all funny. I don't know what it is now. Oh, yeah. Opera. Let's open Opera up. Let's see what it's like. Apparently, this is the new version of Opera. You have to agree as well. Don't forget about that. Yes, of course I want to quit Jack. See what I mean? They don't like me. They don't like me at all. Right. New version of Opera. Very nice. Very clear. Lovely. I like it. So, yeah. So this is the first screen you get when you do Opera. A lot preloaded already on this time. Normally you only get one or two. But you've got quite a few on this one. Yeah. So we'll wait for the swirly thing to do swirlies. I don't want to fly anywhere. I don't want to get blown up, really. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it looks all nice, doesn't it? So if you like Opera, this could be nice for you as well. Facebook, I don't even use Opera Portal. Have you been to Opera Portal before? So you, you won't know anything about this unless you've actually been and used Opera. When it first came out years and years and years ago, it was really you know, basic. But as time's gone on, it's got a lot, 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 lot more features in it. It's like an all-in-one. You can do your mail through it. You can do everything through it. So, yeah, it's rather nice. But, yeah, give it a go and see how you get along. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Dolphin for your foam engine. So we'll open Dolphin up. And splashing around now. He's splashing. He's open. And there's all your files. It's nice. It works. Dolphin's been around for quite a while. He's in quite a lot of our distros as well, by the way. Quite a lot of others. Anyway, what else? We'll go back to system. G slapped package manager is your package manager. Right? Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to quickly download a program once I remember my password. I forgot what it is now. Yeah, yeah I think that's it. No, wrong distro. I'll try a different one, shall we? I think that one, yeah, that'll do you. Yeah. That's the one. So click, oh yeah, and we're in. Okay, so we wait for it. Here we are. Now, if you've used Slackware before, you'll, you'll know this. It's like it's like Synaptic, really, so don't worry about it too much. I'm just going to upload it, or update it even. Sorry for my cold, it's terrible. Time of year again. So we're updating our package manager and make sure we've all got the latest packages, and then we're going to give it a go and install something for you. Not saying it's going to work, but we'll install something anyway. So what should we search for? I know G Numeric, I know, is in here. Nice, simple, small one. We'll search for that. There he is. All you do, if you want to install, tick the box to install, and it does that for you. Then when you're ready to go, click Execute, OK, and read there, 39 megs of space it wants. So here we go. As you can see, my internet speed has speeded up no end. It's lovely. Lovely living here. This is the long bit, as you know, is the downloading all the extras. But it's all automated for you. I'm going to do nothing else once this is all done. So all we're going to do now is watch that bar go along. It's like watching paint dry. And when it gets to the end, it'll install it all for you. And in theory, you should be able to use it straight away. But if not, you may have to reboot the system. So we've downloaded and we've started to install. We've started to install. There we go. Look. It's this, also, this one stutters on installing. No, you don't get a, the bar don't go across slowly. Or something. It just goes from one section to the other. Like that, just goes finishes straight away. But there we go, we're all done. So I'll close that. I'll close that. Shall we see if it's in Office? No, it ain't. So you'll either have to reboot if you've actually got it installed, by the way, and then go from there. And you should be able to use GNUMEREC. Now, on the whole, I really like this. I really do like the KDE netbook look. It's, it's nice to look at anyway, because the other one was a bit boring because everybody uses it. But anyway, four out of five, sneaky links going out.